I think it's so exciting when people actually come to a humanities program because that shows that they have an interest, that they have a need, that they, they, they have a, a question about it. And if anybody can integrate the humanities into everyday life, if I can illustrate how literature, how art dovetails into everyone's life, whether you're an accountant or whether you're a banker or whether you're an insurance salesman, if you can see how life is all integrated. I tell my students, I tell people who might come to a humanities uh, presentation, don't go at life with the blinders on, that there is not just a single-minded path to life, but there are all these intersections of which we must be aware. I love Sarah Jane. She uh, and I met through Let's Talk About It Oklahoma, and we have, she comes to our uh, discussion groups at least twice a year despite her tremendously heavy schedule and I feel guilty when I email her and ask her to come to join us but she always answers back almost immediately with such cheerfulness that uh, I, I go back to her again and again our group loves her and she presents with such enthusiasm and yet she doesn't come across as I'm the scholar uh, she comes across as, I'm a book lover and so are you, and we truly do enjoy her and we always learn something from her. She's very special. When you give a presentation, you have to be excited about what you're, what you're offering, what you're sharing, or else the people in attendance won't be enthusiastic. They go, oh yeah, the humanity stuff is so boring. So you've really got to be, you know, to give a verve to it all, to be just as, just as excited as you want your audience to be when they leave. First, I've already mentioned her love of literature, but she also is a real student of history and, and really appreciates our history. And uh, she's always able to tie together uh, things in the literature with history, particularly in the, in the area. And then, of course, uh, she, I have seen her perform in some of her historical roles, too. And, uh, but she brings that same flair to everything she does. The exchange after a presentation, that is what is really exciting because maybe something that someone has offered, someone has questioned, has triggered a question in somebody else's mind, has triggered a thought or a comment, and that begins the dialogue. And you can't live without communication. You cannot live without thinking and without analyzing what you have heard and what you have seen. And the humanities allows us to make these connections and to begin these dialogues and that makes it all worthwhile. She certainly has, uh, I'm sure has lit up the lives of many people as she has done mine and I admire her so much because she works so hard and how she keeps going I do not know but uh, she's definitely a dynamo and she's definitely a credit to Oklahoma and to the Humanities Efforts Council's efforts in Oklahoma. I want to enthuse people about that because that's the beautiful part of life. So if I can get somebody kicked in and excited about it, then that's all worth the effort. I will drive across the state to get somebody excited about the humanities, truly.